Welcome to, back to Mr. Herman's math page. We're going to be working on today to find the constant of proportionality from a graph. On these problems, we're going to be focusing on how it looks on the graph and finding the y over x. So let's start by taking a look at a couple of these. The first one talks about the distance that someone has walked and depends on the number of trips they made to school. If you look closely at this graph, you'll notice that, that it goes straight through zero, which of course makes means it is constant, and it does have a constant of proportionality. Anytime a straight line goes through zero, zero, and it's numbered correctly, which this one is, you can definitely compare and say that it's proportional for that based on that reason. We're looking at distance over here on the y-axis, right? And the number of trips on the x-axis. To find a constant of proportionality, which we're going to call k, you're always going to take y and divide it by x. So all we need to do is find a spot that goes through our grid. If you take a look at this grid carefully here, see the grid on the side I'm working with here, we want it when it goes through, we want our line to go through one of these, one of these intersections of the little boxes in our grid. And if it goes through one of those boxes, then we know it's an actual point on the graph. It's not like halfway, like, like this one's halfway. It's hard to tell where that actually is. So you can pick any place it goes through. I can see it going through here, it goes through here, it goes through here, and it goes through here. And of course, zero, zero, two. Not counting zeros or you can't divide that one. So let's pick any of them. I'll just pick six, six here. So I got six, and if I line up six with the number below it, that's three. So we'd be taking y, which is six, and dividing by three, which is two. So the constant of proportionality, or k, for this graph would be two, and then you have to go with your labels, two kilometers per trip. So the final answer is two kilometers per trip. Remember, you can also write that as two kilometers over one trip. Let's try another one. On this one, we've got the cost of somebody's birthday party, and it shows the number of guests and the cost. So cost per guest, by the way, this is the y-axis. Money is always on the y-axis. If you have time given, time is always on the x-axis. But this time, you don't have time, so we just get money over guests. Again, try and find a spot where it goes through. If you want to pause the video for a second and look yourself, there are several spots that goes through here. I'm seeing this one right here. It looks pretty good to me. The lower the numbers are, the easier to work with usually. So we got 30 over 20. So y over x here is 30 over 20. When we're dividing here, we can divide both by 10, cancel those out, and we get 3 halves. 3 halves is 1.5, 1 1.5. So I'll go back to y for the label. It's going to be 1.5. That's the cost. So it's only more like $1.50 per guest. And again, you can also put that over one guest. Let's try another one. How about this one? This one says uh, piano pieces the least can play. So this graph shows, total, total, shows the total number of pieces she can play. depends on how many weeks she has taken piano lessons. So on this one, we've got uh, total number she can play, which, again, notice how this is not a money, but time is down here. We have weeks for x, so that's good. So we're going to, again, take y and divide it by x. This time, y is going to be the total number of oh, piano pieces learned. And i got to find the spot it goes through in the graph. Again, if you want to pause it for a second and try and find your own spot it goes through, and then come back. I'm looking, it looks like right here is where it goes through. So that's going to be 2 and 5. So we take 2 divided by 5. If you divide 2 by 5, you get 0. 0.4. It's 4 tenths. So it's going to be 4 tenths. And again, look, at, look to y for what the label is. 4 tenths pieces learned and per week. You can put week of lessons if you want also. I think we got one more in here. Remember, you can pause this video anytime and check it out and see if it makes sense to you. Try to follow along the best you can. The next one I have is uh, revenue. So write the money again. That's good. Money is always on the y-axis. Remember that. So this graph shows how the revenue at Logan's Auto Wash depends on the number of customers. Makes sense. The more people that come spend money, the more money and revenue he'll make. 
So again, let's take a look here. We're looking for y over x to find the constant of proportionality. And y over x, let's see here. I see it looks like this spot right here it's going through. So I can go 50 and down to 10. A little crooked there, sorry. So it's going to be $50 over 10. That's going to be 5. So our revenue is going to be $5 per customer. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, go to the Mr. Arms Math page to learn more.